Hi guys. Uh, so today I thought I'd show you a marlin spike hitch. Um, either to use to, uh, to pull on something or as, uh, as a, a suspension point for use in something like uh, hanging your hammock. Um, it's a pretty, it's a very handy knot and uh, one of those sorts of things that uh, um, if you'd never used it before, once you learn it and start using it, you'll use it all the time, pretty much any time you need some extra purchase to pull on something. Essentially, it's just, uh, uh, we're going to form sort of a loop and use a toggle. And uh, once you remove the toggle, the, the knot immediately comes undone. So here's how it works. We, we can use a toggle. Uh, it could be a branch or a piece of stick or something um, for uh, hammock camping for hanging your hammock um, or something like a screwdriver or a marlin spike which is where the, the name for this hitch comes from um, to, uh, to insert into the knot and then use the marlin spike or screwdriver um, to, to uh, do your actual pulling with. So if I needed to pull on the rope and let's assume this is a fixed object it's a tiny little anvil but you know I can pull them easily, but I'll hang on to them. So if I need to, to, to pull on here, or you know, say I'm making a monkey's fist and I'm trying to get it rock hard tight, um, as I'm pulling it, you know, it, it can be difficult to get a good grip on the line here to pull. Your hand will tend to slip. So this is just a great way of getting purchase without, uh, you know, without really any effort on your hands. So throw, uh, throw a, a loop. Turn the loop over once more. Now we've got the standing end and pull the standing end up. And that's where the toggle is going to go. So put a loop in the line, fold them over once more, and then you can put your marlin spike through here. As this draws up tightly, um, yeah, it's, it's going to draw up tightly. This rope will not be able to slide anywhere. And I'll be able to get a tremendous pull on here, basically as hard as, the, as, hard as I can possibly pull, or as hard as the, uh, the rope will endure. You know, you know, I can pull on that as hard as I can, it's not going to slip once it's not as tightened up. And you know, once I'm done pulling, to release it, pull the toggle out, and you're done. So once again, it's a loop. Turn them over and then insert your toggle. So if we're hammock camping, this could be a branch or a stick or something. We'd go in here, work this tight. Now, so this part here would be going around your tree. And uh, you know, now I would attach my, my hammock to it, so let sort of simulate that with this piece of rope. So the loop from my hammock um, would go around the toggle. And what I want is for the pull to be uh, against the, the knot rather than against the piece of wood. So like this stick or branch or whatever doesn't have to be particularly strong. It's all the forces on it are compressive. Um, and so if you're hammock camping, you want your hammock to be hanging on, on the knot and not the stick, which may be weak. It, it just has to resist the, comp the compression forces. So the force from your hammock is transferred to to the line and uh, not to the toggle. So once again, if I put as much force on here as I can, you can see how this draws tight and I'm not pulling at all on the toggle, I'm pulling on, on the line. And when you're packing up at you know, the end of the day or the next day or whatever, essentially, well, you take your hammock off, pull your toggle out, and you're done. So that's a marlin spike hitch. Loop, turn it over, insert your marlin spike, draw it tight, and you're done. Thanks for watching.